joining me this morning. Um, my name is Asaf Shin R. Um, I'm from Israel, from sunny Israel, and uh, our restaurant is called Tsuk Farm Deli. We're uh, in Tel Aviv, and we're going to talk about uh, a new mainstream uh, food type, uh, street food that has um, entered the, uh, uh, the Israeli uh, way of eating. Um, it's called Elias. Elias come from the, comes from the Shami Levantine kitchen, the Arab kitchen. It's a really tasty dish and very, very easy to make. And since we are into movement of food and collaborations and learning from one another, um, is many Israelis really love this and it's a very easy dish to make. It involves actually uh, pita bread that could be either uh, a day old or a fresh pita. Could be should be uh, relatively uh, uh, thin thin pitas, but also thick pitas can work also. Um, we're also using cumin, salt, and pepper. We will chop some garlic into here, and we're going to use caramelized onions to uh, make this dish a bit sweet. We also have ground lamb and beef together. I'm going to chop the garlic and chop the parsley and mix everything together. Parsley, a really good trick to how to cut it very thin and small is to take it, put it all in the same direction, and roll it very tightly. Use a very sharp knife, and then very delicately start to slice it. Turn it around and recut it again so it will be nice and small. Now we'll add the meat. Season it with salt. Black pepper. With a nice portion of cumin. The garlic. And the parsley. And then mix it all together. By kneading it, we're actually connecting everything together, making sure all the meat is nicely mixed with all the herbs and spices. Now I'll also add the uh, caramelized onions inside. You, after you've done it for once or twice, you can actually decide on different kinds of flavoring that you can put inside, like switching the parsley to cilantro, or uh, using um, using uh, baharat spices, or uh, different kinds of uh, warm spices that you can add to this. Now I take the pitas and I open them from the sides. You want it to be not very full. With this amount, I will probably divide it into three. The recipe talks about eight pitas, but you can cut down the recipe and fill it with other more or less. I'm facing the filling, it's very tasty, and we're gonna do the arise soon. The whole idea behind this is that the meat will, as you can see, I will fill this so it's nice and even inside. This actually is going to be cooked either on the grill or on a hot skillet, uh, where we want the pita bread to crisp up and the meat to be ready from the inside. So we're gonna play with the temperatures to bring it so it doesn't burn, but it does get a bit brownish and a very nice in color. Olive oil to season the pita bread from the outside on both sides. This will help it eventually crisp up. And it adds a bit of a flavor to the meat, to the pita itself. Now we have two choices. We can either place the um, pitas on a grill on the side that is not very hot very patiently we wait until the pita will be warm enough and until the uh, flavors, the, the pita will be crisp, the inside will be warm. As you can hear, the pita bread is very crunchy already. And now we're going to cut it into quarters. Give it a nice toasty flavor. So to summarize, we mixed all the herbs and all the spices together with the meat, stuffed the pitas, 
um, uh, poured olive oil on the pita itself and grilled it. You can either, if you don't have a grill, you can saute it on a medium low flame, just as, as much as you need to crisp up the pita, cut it into quarters, then make it bite sized so it's fun to just eat one portion at a time. Open up a table with as many salads and pickles as you can think. We have here tahini and spicy peppers and sweet paprika. Uh, uh, tomato, uh, American tomato salad, which is called matbucha. Tassos olives, different kinds of pickles, fresh salads with local uh, cucumber and local tomatoes, a lot of olive oils, a really nice beer. And this is a complete meal just to have and to, to keep on eating either as a starter or as a main or as just something in between. It's a lot of fun. Thank you very much for joining me. This is Elias. It's one of our very favorite dishes now in Israel. Enjoy it as you can. It's a really summery dish with all these wonderful flavors. Have fun.